So I'm Dan, uh, I'm the Regional Officer for the North West. Uh, today we're here at the 2011 Touchathon, which is a world record attempt. Basically we're trying to break the world record for the most amount of participants over 24 hours. So as you can see behind us, we've got two of the teams started off. They started off about 50 minutes ago and we're hoping to go through all the way to tomorrow um, at eight o'clock in the morning. So it's gonna be, be a tough task, but hopefully we're gonna do it. play rugby at 8am in the morning. <laughs> I don't think they play, uh, play rugby at 8am but hopefully we can, uh, we can change a few people's minds on that. Going really well, as you can see from the uh, the sunburn. We've had some good weather today, so um, we're up to about the 650 mark. Um, since we last spoke, we've had um, the schools that have come down, the colleges. We've had a mascots game at four o'clock that was fantastic. Um, we've had a pan disability festival, so we've had all kinds of theme uh, sessions, which hopefully have, we, we've got as many different diverse uh, groups as we can really. Yeah, I've been part of the Steve Prescott Foundation team. Oh, it's been a, a great event. You know, we've been here for the, for the last hour. Some guys have been here from the, uh, from the off at 8, 8, 8 o'clock this morning and, uh, and going right through the night. Fantastic, you know, promoting the game. And you know, I think there's 650 people already taking part, so you know, it's, a, it's a great thing and, and raising a lot of money for charity as well. How was your own team done today? I think we've done okay. I think most of the lads have enjoyed it. I think we took a few tumbles, I have anyway. I don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight. Usually when you do one arm, you can usually roll over and sleep on that, but obviously I've done both as well, so it'll be a nice sleep for me tonight. And you're raising money for charity as well? Yeah, it's the Christie Hospital. It's one that my foundation raised money for as well, so uh, if we can be linked in that way, then that's great. What, what wind would you say you're on now? Your second, third? Cool. It might be uh, close to the ninth for the tenth, to be honest, after the, after today. But no, all jokes aside, it's been fantastic. It's been well received by the uh, by the college. Uh, everyone that's taken part, there's uh, there's not been a bad word said. So hopefully everyone's enjoyed the event. been hard um, we've got about 50 minutes till we go we've got a group of about um, 30 to 40 people who are still with us we had about 50 to 60 through the night so they battled through um, from about 11 o'clock until they left us at five um, but we're still going uh, we're gonna do it so uh, we'll keep on going well I don't think it'd be as hard as it was but two o'clock this morning seemed to uh, prove very difficult definitely yeah. It's falling asleep in the cars, etc. But we got there in the end. Well, I've not had any sleep yet, and I've still got to drive home, which will be fun. And um, what about uh, your actual skills? You feel like you've, you've improved playing such a, a large amount of rugby in a short period of time? Yeah, it's very physically challenging, and I think everybody has improved. Yeah, no, it, being fatigued, it's just oh, the fitness level is just immense. You've got to get better, obviously. We're up to about 800 people who've done done over the 24 hours, so we've actually beating the world record, fingers crossed if we do the next 40 minutes, uh, so we should have a Guinness world record which we'll need to get verified, so all in all it's been a, a good, uh, I was going to say a day, but yeah it's been a good 24 hours.